Listen to me. Believing in the sufficiency of Scripture. That's the doctrine that Scripture is enough to lead us into all godliness. Believing in the sufficiency of Scripture not only means that you say all the Scripture says, but that you don't say what the Scripture doesn't say. Because if God shuts His mouth, He knows what He's doing. And what happens when you pare down godliness to those basic things is you get a Gospel that can take the planet by storm instead of getting caught up in your cultural baggage. You wind up with a Gospel that can go to every single part of the planet, not wrapped in American clothes or Victorian English clothes, but wrapped in the clothes of Christ, bringing people to the essence of godliness. Love your wife. How do you do it? Well, we do a date night. Oh yeah? We don't, but I love her too. Which one of us is godlier? That's not the point. A good conscience is one that is led by the Word of God alone. And it's not a little holier to add to it. It's demonic. And it racks people's souls and it eats their consciences up and it steals their joy from loving the pure sacrifice of the Lord Jesus Christ. It's not a joke. We've got people who are so serious about not being worldly in the drugs and alcohol way, but who love to flirt with worldliness in the legalism way. Deadly. Deadly. 